Once Velocity is installed on your system, we're going to go ahead and open it up. And this is what it looks like after a brand new install. We're going to select the administration window. In here is where we're going to add our network port and eventually our panel. We're going to go to Digitrack Configuration. Expand, you'll see SNET, XNET, and Dial-Up. SNET and Dial-Up, you're probably never going to use. SNET is RS-485 or RS-232 communications, a single wire from your server to your panel. XNET is your TCP IP network protocol. And that's what we're going to use today. You'll see that it says Add New XNET Port. When we double click on Add New XNET Port, it brings up our port properties here. It comes set to IPv4 and XNET. We're plugged into a SNB2 in this case, so we're going to go to XNET2 for our protocol. And here is where we would input our IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. Cool thing is, if your system is on the same switch as your panel, you can click the search bar and it'll pull everything off of the SNB that we programmed in a previous video. And by saying OK, it automatically imports it right in here. We're going to go ahead and turn the port off for right now. And then we're going to say OK. And you'll see ASI Demo is our port. Now, once we've highlighted our port, over here it says Add New Xbox. Xbox is the communications between the port and the panel. So we double click on that and it pulls up our Xbox. Let's just give it a unique identifier ASI Demo. Xbox and not the Xbox that you like to play games on. We're going to disable the Xbox and say OK. Once we've added our Xbox communications, we highlight it and you'll see it says add new controller and import new controller. We would only use import new controller if this was an existing system and we had a controller that we wanted to move somewhere in the system. Um, this is a brand new install, so we are going to be adding a new controller. So let's double click that, and that brings up our new controller properties. In our new controller properties, this is where we are going to name our panel. I'm going to stay with the ASI demo. The panel that we are installing is an MX4, so I'm going to call it an MX4. In the description, this is a great place to put down the location of the panel. If you are at a job that has multiple panels that may be spread out all over the job, this would be a great place to give a technician a heads up as to, hey, this is where you can find that panel, so you don't spend a lot of time running around the job. Let's just say, we'll call it first floor IDF room. Now, we want to give the panel an address. This is the first panel on here. It's also going to be the only panel. We'll just address it as one. Then we have to give it a model. Like I said, we put it in MX4. So we'll select that. I'm going to disable the panel for right now. Make sure that our time zone is correct. We use daylight savings, so that's checked. Use database default setups and load setups from controller. Since this is a brand new install, we're going to use the database default setups, which means we're going to program everything in here and we're going to download it to the panel. If we had a controller that was previously programmed by another velocity system or hand programmed through one of the keypads, we could load setups from the controller and that would upload everything that was previously programmed into the controller 
into our velocity system, which is a nice tool to have. But since we haven't, and this is a brand new setup, we're going to go with the default. And we're going to say OK. And you'll see that it puts our panel right here. Now, I want to open up my event viewer. The event viewer tells us exactly what's going on in the system. So now that I have my port, my Xbox, and my panel all put into the system, I'm going to go through and I'm going to start enabling them. So we will enable our port by right clicking and going to enabled. I'm going to right click on my Xbox and go to enable. And you'll see it gives me port socket connected, port online, Xbox online. That means that Velocity sees the panel and is, talk and is talking to it. Or the, I'm sorry, the NIC card on the panel, the SNB2. Next, I'm going to right click on the panel itself and we're going to enable it. And boom, it came online, it logged on, it sent its date and time down to it. And the panel spit back any information that it had inside there. That is how you bring a panel online in Velocity.